Are you tired of spending hours sitting up your pen testing lab, managing dependencies, virtual machine, wrestling with broken tools and wishing you had a clean, consistent environment for every engagement? What if I told you there is a better way to do it? Meet Ixigo, your new best friend for ethical hacking. Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to install and use Exigol, a powerful tool that leverages Docker to provide clean, isolated and feature-packed pen testing environment right on your machine. First, let's talk about the prerequisite. For Linux, you will need two things, Python 3 or newer and Docker. Make sure you have Docker installed and that the Docker service are running before we begin. We are going to install Exigol using PipeX, which is the recommended method. PipeX is a fantastic tool that installs and runs Python application in isolated environment, which prevents any dependencies conflict with your other project. If you don't have PipeX installed, you can install it with a simple command. Next, you need to make sure that PipeX directory is in your system path, and PipeX can do this for us. You may need to restart your terminal for the changes to take effect. Alright, with the pre requisite out of the way, we can now install Exigol. It's just one command. And that's it. PipeX will now download Exigol and set it up for us. While it's installing, let's quickly recap. Exigol gives us powerful disposable pen testing labs, Docker is the container technology that makes it all possible, and PipeX is the smart way to install Python tool like Exigol keeping everything tidy. Once the installation is complete, Exigol is ready to go. Now, for the fun part, let's see what it can do. Now that we have Exigol installed, let's learn the basic command to manage our pen testing container. First thing first, we need to install the Docker image, which come packed with over 800 tools. This might take a while the first time, but subsequent start will be much faster, so simply use the Exigol install free command since we are using the free tier. Then, everything starts with the exigol start command. This command create and start a new container based on the free image we downloaded previously. And let's name our first instance, my first box. Once it's ready, you'll be dropped right into a shell inside the container. You now have a fully equipped pen testing environment at your fingertip. To exit the container, just type exit. And what if you want to stop the container without deleting it? You can use the stop command. And if you want to see all the container you've created, running or stopped, just just use Exigol info. When you are completely done with a container and want to free up space, you can remove it with the remove flag. But Exigol isn't just for the command line. One of its coolest features is the full desktop environment, perfect for tools that require a GUI. To launch it, we just add the desktop flag to our start command. This will start the container and provide you with connection details. Just copy the link, open it in your browser, copy the password and you can connect. And there you have it, a full XFC desktop environment, preloaded with tools like Burp Suite, Ghidra, Bloodhunt. It's a complete graphical pen testing lab running in a container. Now that we've covered the basics, let's put Exegol to the test in a real-world scenario. To demonstrate the power and convenience of Exegol, we are going to tackle a simple retired machine from Hack the Box called Phone. This is a great beginning level box, perfect for showing off our new setup. First thing first, let's start a dedicated Exigol instance for the CTF. We will call it form and we will add the tag VPN flag to connect to the Hack the Box VPN. This is one of the coolest features of Exigol, being able with a simple command to connect our container to a VPN. Alright, we're in. The first step in any engagement is reconnaissance. Let's run an nmap scan to see what services are running on the target machine. I'll use the SV flag to probe for service version. Ok, the scan results are in. We see an FTP server running on port 21 and importantly it looking like VSFTPD 3.0.3. The nmap scan also tells us that anonymous FTP login is allowed. That's our entry point I think. Let's try to connect to the FTP server using the FTP command and the username anonymous. We're in. Basically, anonymous don't need password to, to connect. So let's look around. The ls tag la command will show us all the files in the current directory. And here, as you can see, there is the flag.txt. Let's download it to our local machine using the get command. Now that we have the file, let's exit the FTP session and read the flag. And that's it. A simple box, only to demonstrate 
how quick and easy it is to go from zero to a full pen testing environment with Exigod. We didn't have to install a single tool, we didn't have to run VM, we just launched it and everything was here. So whether you are a seasoned pro or starting your cybersecurity journey, Exigod is a game changer. It's clean, powerful and lets you focus on what really matters, hacking. So it is still free today. Thank you for watching. If you want this video helpful, subscribe for more content and let me know in the comment what you think of Exigol. See you next time. Please give it a thumb up.